The state of the state abortion fight returns to the Midwest today. A special election in Ohio could decide the future of abortion rights in the Buckeye State. Fox's Mike Tobin breaks down the measure that would change the state constitution. When the Supreme Court overturned the Roe versus Wade ruling, the battle over abortion rights went back to the states, and now that battle is in Ohio. Voters in the Buckeye State heading to the polls to decide on issue one, a proposal to raise the threshold for a state constitutional amendment to 60% instead of a simple majority. The timing is significant because in November, Ohio voters face a referendum that could enshrine abortion rights in the state constitution. They are trying to buy an extreme anti-parent abortion amendment that would cut parents out of their kids' lives. So today's election is critical to protecting our Constitution from that. The November referendum is expected to pass, but with less than 60% support, leading some critics to complain, Ohio Republicans are changing the rules ahead of an expected loss. And advocates on both sides of the issue aren't mincing words, framing today's vote as a fight over the future of abortion in Ohio. Vote yes on issue one on August 8th. That's a pro-life vote. Issue one was put on the ballot to preempt Ohio voters from being able to vote on reproductive freedom. Voter turnout has been high across the state, but with polls running neck and neck, it's tough to predict which side will end up on top. Never in our history as a state has the Ohio legislature put an issue of such importance on an August special election, so we have no precedent. Other states are following Ohio's model, including Arizona, where a referendum making abortion legal is expected to be on the ballot this fall. In the Midwest Newsroom, Mike Tobin, Fox 26 News.